Well, this is exciting. Mm. Is it? No. Oh. Wait, yes. Yes. You know what is exciting? What is exciting? Netflix just added a movie I might like. <laughs> that is sex exciting. What movie? Uh, what sexy movie? I don't know. Listen to this. We're playing a game. It's a swing and a miss. That we're the ones to play. Would be remiss if it was ever the same. Recorded for Thursday, February 23rd, 2017. You guys are like goldfish. What the hell? I said it. I said 23. Sean said number. Hello. And welcome to Wasting All the Time, a podcast. My name is Dave. I'm John. I'm Cody. No, stop it. You can't do that every time. It's as bad as Pig Latin. I didn't do it last time. Are you sure the last time you didn't do John Teen? Or was that episode before? That was the before? time before. Okay. See, I, I, I skipped one. Terrible across the board. <laughs> Always a disappointment. We're going to waste all of your time. <laughs> this is episode 210, which, wow. Is Not a prime number, so fuck it. 21 <laughs> times 10. So I've been told. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. And because so 21 is, is the legal age for drinking, purchasing alcohol. That's why you wouldn't let us drink today? America. <laughs> Fuck him, it's not his In vodka. America. That's where we are. I'm drinking booze. Yeah, yeah. America. Fuck. Yeah. Definitely planned that. I offered you booze, John. Oh, you're drinking my booze. Okay. No, this is this is apple juice. Is it is it fermented? <laughs> is that why you're drinking it so fast? Yeah. <laughs> so we are going to do improv. Hmm. Fuck. And we're going to do it framed by several different segments. I'm Ooh, to go okay. For improv. Yeah. So let's begin with the first frame. Oh, snap. the first segment. Right. Mm. That's good. Upon which we will hang our improv. Within which? Are you talking about? Vigilante justice right now? Like Darkwing Duck. Better watch out, you bad boys. Uh, Let's begin. (laughs) Well, what day is this? Is the question that is the title of this segment. Mm. Oh, we forgot to ask what day it is. What What day day is is it, John? Number? And the music that's playing... (laughs) Is an arrangement of <laughs> green sleeves. Green sleeves, which Ooh. is also alternately known as "What child is this?" And if you take away the word oh. "child" and you insert the word "day," then it's "What day is this?" And that's how I like to think about it. So that today makes is a lot February twenty third. No, I never. Th- I just green sleeves. I never got the "What child is this?" joke. Actually, yeah. It's been how many years, and I never caught that. <laughs> just yeah, green sleeves. It's been just over a year since I introduced that. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I think. I think. Uh, I think Dave explained it to me once. I, he, he may have explained it to me. I just All the best out. jokes need to be explained <laughs> <That's right. laughs> repeatedly. It's February 23rd, and according to the National Day Calendar at uh, nationaldaycalendar.com, <laughs> specifically forward slash February forward slash, it is National mm. Tile Day. Oh, National Tile? Tile. Like, okay. T-I-L-E? There is an asterisk, but I don't yet know what it means. Oh. <laughs> National Banana Bread Day. Mm. National Dog Biscuit Day. Mm. Less tasty, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> Depends on the brand of both. Mm. National Toast Day. Oh, toast. You having a stroke right now? No, it's that's when you smell key lime pie. National <laughs> Chili Day, which is the fourth Thursday in February. Mm. Which of those would you like to hear about? I'm a little curious about Dog Biscuit Day, to be honest. A little bit, yeah. And I feel like Chili Day we may have done since it's I believe we did Chili Day. day. I do yeah. recall repeatedly insisting that it doesn't have beans. Mm. Because it doesn't. Every time chili comes up, right. you both are pretty strong on that point. It doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't. The real chili was invented without beans. Yep. So everything else after it is just chili with beans. Virtual high five. Virtual five. <clears throat> That high five sounded strangely like a dog barking. <laughs> it did. <laughs> Who's on the soundboard? You're Speaking fired. of which, <laughs> National Dog Biscuit Day. Hey, nice. All dog owners remember that February 23rd, National 
Okay. That was rough. Now, this is why we go with the National Day calendar. Let me read this again. I'm so excited. The sentence begins, all dog owners, comma. Okay. Remember that February 23rd, National Dog Biscuit Day, exclamation <laughs> point. That's not a sentence. Oh, my. <laughs> There's no object. That's, <laughs> I think that's it's, pretty classy, even yeah. by their standard. <laughs> the easiest fix would be to insert is, I think. Hmm. This day is also observed around the world as International Dog Biscuit oh, Appreciation Day. I apologize to all of Europe, Africa, and Asia in advance. Australia, fuck you. What, what, about, about, what about the Arctic and Antarctic? You know what? Polar bears and the penguins can look after themselves. They don't need me. When you say Asia, you, you're including the subcontinent? Hmm? Indian Pakistan? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Man's best friend deserves a special treat, whether it is a reward for good behavior, as part of their training, or Which just nature. because we want to show our dogs first, how much we love them. The first two are the same. How to observe. <laughs> oh. The following. Give a dog its fucking treat. Are a few homemade dog biscuit recipes what? you may want to make and give to your furry friends. I may want to? You may. Peanut butter and pumpkin dog treats. Peanut butter and pumpkin dog treats. <laughs> What's pumpkin dog? Peanut butter. Here's a different breed. <laughs> Peanut butter and banana dog biscuits. <laughs> I'm sensing a theme. Uh, another breed. Here we go. Homemade dog treats. Mm. <laughs> Homemade dog. Hmm. <laughs> Not um, sure if approve. Now make, you have to make sure. Frankenstein would approve. Mm. You, these are only good if you have that kind of dog. Naturally. Right. Diabetic dog. <laughs> treats mm. and finally the best dog no those are recipes bacon flavored dog biscuits the, the best dog how where how did that fit in the sentence no i'm adding that this is just a list of recipe titles this is, oh titles i was like because those aren't recipes we could get into that but it'd probably be boring no, use, you don't say. <laughs> use hashtag National Dog Biscuit Day to post on social media. History within our research. Wow. Mm. That, was, that was fucking scintillating. Thank you so much, Mr. Pevensey, for, for gracing us with your, with your business. I, uh, I would love to start going through uh, what we've prepared for little, uh, little Mr. Uh, Fontal Ruff. Mm -hmm. Um to uh, to consume on this day in a treat like fashion. Yes, Mr. <laughs> Fontleroff demands only the finest treats. That that is what we have come to understand from these uh, conversations we've had from with I you. I do hope that I can trust you and yours to, to deliver this. Yes. So uh, the first the first creation that our chef uh, Michel. Uh, He's right here. He doesn't. He doesn't always um, use the same degree of tact that uh, us in our profession may use. Uh, but uh, Chef Michel has prepared something very special that he would like to share with you. I am open to your offerings, uh, Chef Michel. Please, hmm. excellent. You talk too long. You talk too much. Go away. Okay, I, now. I leave right Go now. Go away now. I bring you a bit of the bubbly and uh, chef... I will have you stabbed. Please bring some for frontal rough as well. Oh, yes, I will bring his favorite, the uh, the banana truffle uh, bubbly water. Yes, hello. Yes, the host have him stabbed. Thank you. Okay. Have a good day. It's all for you. You will be stabbed. Chef Pichet. Go away. Yes. It's quite a... Quite the repartee. Hmm. Yes. So your 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 canine. Yes. Tell me about it. Mm. What is its what are its hopes and dreams? What are its desires? What are its fears? Does it have nightmares? Well, little Lord Fontaroff uh loves the finer things in life. Mm. And he, he he very much enjoys um being active uh at the window, uh, looking out into the yard and 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 observing the squirrels, the mm. birds mm. and the Pigeons. You have windows made of diamonds, yes, for your doggy to look through? They are encrusted. Hmm. How quaint. Well, I suppose not everyone can be perfect. So, I will endeavor to impress upon you whatever accent I'm using. The... Who knows anymore? <laughs> I don't. I certainly don't. Tell me, does your 
companion enjoy gold flakes? He that well, we think so. You see, mm. there was a um, a bottle of Goldschlager mm. that one of our servants left behind, open lid. See? You had the servant kill, I of course, naturally, <laughs> right away. <laughs> And uh, we, we, we came down the stairs one morning and, uh, you know, little Lord Fontleroff was leading the charge. <laughs> and and he, he found the bottle and he was licking the bottle hmm. and therefore the gold flakes as well. Interesting. Gold is far too plebeian for my tastes. So I think we will have to start with something a little bit more exotic, a little bit more daring and dashing. This, this bottle, this bottle yes. is sort of my prime ingredients. It contains the powdered bones of dodo birds. Don't look at very, it too long. You'll oh, spoil it. Sorry, it's very exotic. Yes. I only use this for the most deserving of dogs. Well, I certainly think that little Lord Fontleroff is one of those. <laughs> and here we are. Here we are, hmm. sir. You're a... Uh, hmm. I do yellow. say... Yes, please excuse the blood. I've just been a little bit stabbed. Are you quite all right? <laughs> yes, I will be just fine. Mm. Uh, here is your uh, your fizzy banana water. And, um, do uh, you have a rag? Sorry. Um, oh, yes, of course, of course. Did you bleed uh, on his please. drink? No, I did not bleed on his drink. I bleed on the glass a little bit. Mm. Touche. We're going to uh, wipe off the glass right there. Thank you. Yes, and uh, and for little little Lord Fontelruff, here is his his um, little fizzy smoothie, and uh, I am going to go now. And that is and crystal, is it not? Yes, very yes, good. of course. N- only the best for Monsieur. <laughs> High lead, very good. <laughs> and, and now I am going to go and um, seek medical attention before I um, I I am bleeding out. Yes. Your, do you your weakness your- shames you. You will be around. Indeed, sir. You will be around for refills, will you not? Indeed, yes, sir. You wouldn't just run out on us. I would not, sir. No. Very good. I'm sorry to every country whose accent I touched upon in that rambling nonsense. I think between the three of us, we hit like at least eight. Yeah. 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 I was. You know, to redeem myself a little bit, I really was going for something nondescript. I had no idea what I was doing. Yeah. It's like, this is vaguely Euro-French. Yeah. And then halfway through, I was like, nope, I'm British now. Sorry, France. Sorry, France. Sorry, Britain. Mm. Sorry, Italy. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Probably sorry to some Slavic countries. Probably. Well, <laughs> that was that was something. It was. That was something. Dude. Let's move Let's. it. To this framework. What have you been up to? To what up have you been? Gentlemen. Yo. What have you been up to? Uh, let's see. I don't know if anybody knows, but I just got married. What? No, you did. So, I did. That's so old see? news. That's the ring. Oh, still <laughs> real. Still real. <laughs> it definitely wasn't like a small knife I have on me. <laughs> definitely not. No, I got, I got back from the honeymoon, went down the coast, went to Universal and Disneyland. Nice. It was a blast. It was so great. And it was so amazing. Um, and I keep talking about it and annoy everyone at my work with it. Yeah. And our <laughs> podcast listeners. Uh, yes. I'm sure you're all very annoyed. Please write in and tell me how annoyed you are at my nonsense. Mm. I would love to. Have we done anything else in the past two weeks? Yes, um, following the lead of, of one David Patterson, uh, I've started auditioning for more audiobooks. Ooh. It was a lot of fun. I was just close to getting one. Ooh. It was on biblical hermeneutics, which Ooh. is a word I had to practice about a dozen times to not laugh while I was saying it. Because <laughs> it is a hilarious hermeneutics. It's a pretty funny word. The, even one of the accepted pronunciations has a liquid U. So it's like oh. hermeneutics. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, was, oh. I even tried that to sound a little fancy, and I couldn't even. It was like, oh. the process of hermeneutics. Nope. <laughs> 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 uh. It's like the Doppler effect. New. <laughs> <laughs> In the middle of the word. Uh. Mm. No, I, I, didn't, I didn't end up getting that one. Um, and I, I don't know if I breached protocol on this, but I wrote them a message saying, hey, thanks for listening. Basically. Any notes? Yeah, any notes? What feedback do you have? And they were like, you were super close. You were second. We wanted you. It came down to a vote in the office, and you barely got edged out by the other guy. And I was like, oh, oh damn it. Like, just, come on. Almost not worth asking. Yeah. yeah. At that point, I'd almost want to just, nope, sorry. All right, fuck it, I'll move on. But no, it was just like, mm, 
maybe if you were a little better. Mm. Uh, maybe we could tell your heart wasn't into it. Yeah. Mm. Do you, do you really just, live hermeneutics? You know, he didn't He didn't do the liquid you. Yeah. <laughs> the, the hermeneutics. <laughs> he kept saying hermeneutics. He didn't, he didn't want it enough. This fucking guy. What's wrong with him? Uh, What's wrong with him? <laughs> him. Was he doing this in the nude? <laughs> Get it? Because nude. Right, yeah. Um... And oh, got it! Like, like, <laughs> like naked, like, like right now, ladies, gentlemen, everyone else. Um, eh, oh, I have one more thing I was gonna say, and I forgot what it was. Well, now you've just said that. Oh, uh, I'm doing lots more escape rooms. Uh, working on a, a like a website kind of thing with my buddy. We're doing escape room reviews. If you haven't done escape rooms, j- you fucking do them. I'm not even mm. gonna recommend one to you because just do them. Just Google escape rooms, find okay. one near you, and fucking do it. They're the best thing. Well, you, you say you're working on a thing. Yes. What is that thing? This thing is, we're called Escape Command. It's a little review segment where we talk about uh, the escape rooms we've done. My buddy Sanchez has done upwards of 25 or 30. Ooh. Um, and we're just going to different places, kind of reviewing them, and just having a, having a spot of fun with it. If someone were interested in escape rooms, particularly in the Northern California area, yes, and they wanted to see what... What's going on with all this? Where would they go? You could go to uh, facebook.com slash escape CMD, escape command. Mm-hmm. That's us. Uh, you can Google escape command. I think Jenny has us set up on like Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and Tumblr and all that fun stuff. Uh, but you can check us out there, the uh, youtube.com slash escape CMD. And, well uh, done. This is how this works. That was amazing. <laughs> Thank you for like fucking hand walking me through that shit. <laughs> I didn't want to like plug into the project or the. Hey, but yeah, so that's uh, that's been a lot of fun, and uh, God, we went on a run yesterday. Like, apparently, you go outside and you just you just run. Uh, yeah, all right, run. It's called yogging. <laughs> it was awful. I almost threw up, and my legs hurt a bunch. So there's that. Good stuff. Thanks, <laughs> John. Um. Well, I Jonathan. Uh, I went to a Super Bowl party a few weeks ago. Ah, uh, the superb Shame. album. Um, and watched, Shame. yeah, yeah, yeah. Watched the Super Bowl, and you know that was a football game. Um, and uh, watched uh, Lady Gaga's uh, halftime show. I heard great things about that. Uh, I think she won the Super Bowl. Yes. Um, and um, I'm sure, a lot of Patriot fans would be very upset at you right now. <laughs> well, they of course can. they're upset. They're Patriot fans. Ooh. Um, and uh, <laughs> as a result, I got a couple of her numbers stuck in my head to the point where I really just, I had to go buy the album. Mm. Um, fair enough, fair enough. So I, I, I disagree with your framing, but go on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so I've been listening to a lot of Lady Gaga lately, and it's, you know what? It's pretty good. I like it. I like it. It's not my usual jam. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's very much like... But you might just make it your jelly. Club... You know, nope. club nope. dance music. No, no. See, I was just F gonna minus minus. I was just gonna move on like it didn't happen. Yo, he deserves to be punished for that nonsense. <laughs> that is bullshit. And I won't have it in my house. <laughs> yeah. So that working, um, playing Sims, and Sims. Ooh, I got is that still ooh, a thing. I got a new TV. Oh <gasps> no! Can I have your old one? Uh, you probably don't want it. Oh, it's like it? 25 inch. I'm so upset. <laughs> uh, yeah. The uh, new one is a 55 inch. Can I have your new one? <laughs> no. Or the shot. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Did it's, ribbit? <laughs> it's the largest TV that, uh, would fit on the wall that it goes on. That's what's up. And That's how you buy a goddamn TV. Yeah. And it's so cool. It's a smart TV, which I've not really experienced before. And so, Careful. you know, it's like I, I've never had a TV where all I had to do was plug it into the wall and I could, like, watch whatever I wanted on it. Dang. You know. Dang. Nicely Pretty done. Pretty cool. You, yeah. Yeah, so that, that was fun. John's living the um, goddamn dream over here. Fuck. Mounting it on the wall eh, uh, it. by myself. Oh, no. Oh, that's what? the wrong way. Yeah. yeah, that is the wrong way. Never mount anything by yourself. <laughs> but uh, I got it got it done, but it was... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, John. <Chad. laughs> during the process, there were, there were at least three moments where 
if I had not been really paying attention, uh, it would have gone bad. You'd have fucked it all up? Yep. I would have a very expensive uh, broken thing. <laughs> But uh, Look at you being productive and proactive and shit. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's, nice. Cool. that's about it. D Pat. Yes. C part. I guess. <laughs> eh, yeah, yeah. Um C parse, maybe? I've been working. C Park. I've been mm-hmm. recording an audiobook again, as Cody alluded to. He's so good at this. Hire him, everyone. I uh, I don't think I mentioned it two weeks ago. So yeah, I started. Uh, uh, I've previously been recording books for an author named Ken Cressman. Oh, uh-huh. go a Ken! Larkin and Colt series of books, and yeah. I'm currently on book three of that series. Nice. Where their history comes back <gasps> to haunt them. Dun dun dun. Oh. And they have to travel the world oh, to shit. set things straight. And Sounds it's cute. pretty dramatic. And I have to work really hard on making a better <laughs> Latin American, specifically <laughs> Colombian accent. Oh, hey, you got to get that shit right. It's, uh, I took a stab at it last week. <laughs> mm, not so much. Mm. F minus minus. <laughs> Everything else, great. Nice. The accent, working on it. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's my struggle. There you go. So if they wanted to find some of your other books that you had recorded, where could they do that? They could go to pattersonvoice.com. P-A-T-E-R-S-O-N? V-O-I-C-E. Yeah. Well, one T in Patterson. Correct. And uh, there you can find links to all the books that I've narrated, and I hope you do. He's a genius. He's an artist. Mm, I am a person. And now... Let's move it right along. Upwards, downwards, forwards, backwards. I say we go through words. The fruitiest. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a terrible commercial. <laughs> the guy just doesn't give a shit. The fruitiest. Like, fine, this, this is what it says. Like, can I go home now? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to jump right there. Okay. Well, and now it's time to play Fruit Words. Fruit Words is a game we play utilizing cards of two kinds and colors. Red cards are nouns and green cards are adjectives. We'll draw one card of each color and improvise a scene inspired by these words. Dave, draw the cards. Okay, Fuck, but first, man. first I'm going to listen to that accent over and over that for was my book. That really good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like first selection. How about... Garish caves. Mm. <laughs> the most garish of caves. What's some good synonyms for garish? Gaudy? Ostentatious. Tacky? Tacky would be a good one, yeah. Um I think mean, I think Gauche. I thought that was oh it's gauche, that's right. It's spelled like G-A-U and it's mm. pronounced go. I hate that. Mm, I love gauche cheese. Hey guys, thanks for thanks for coming over to the, the cave. Mm. Uh, I managed to scrounge up a few candles mm. since obviously there's there's no power because mm-hmm. there's no power power station mm-hmm. left after you know everything. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just wanted to kind of show off some of the some of the things I managed to to scrape together. Mm-hmm. And, uh, okay, maybe I could get some more people to live here and we could turn this into a real community. You want to make a commune out mm-hmm. of it, or um, you know, the, uh, that's that's maybe that's maybe a goal. Maybe eventually, yeah. Okay, because mm-hmm. um, all I'm going to be able to do is just compare it to what I've got. Yeah, I kind of I, like the. Uh, that was kind of the secondary goal is to make okay. you feel bad about your cave, and then you'd come live in my cave. Well, I, I disagree with your intentions, but mm-hmm. I'm interested to see. Nonetheless, I've traveled all this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I appreciate that. Anyway, the door is interesting, right? Mm. Okay, so apparently, just on the side of the road over there, there's a semi truck filled with just slabs of frozen meat. Mm-hmm. They, they were just mm. everywhere. Uh, so I just leaned one up against the opening. So how's that do in the summertime? I don't, I, I, or at this elevation, does it matter? I don't. I haven't been able to tell yet. Mm-hmm. It's been really cold. I've lost track of the seasons mostly. Um, it hasn't thawed yet. Okay. And every so often, I can just pull a little chunk off of it and chew on it, and it's delicious. Ted, Ted, are you okay with it? I um, I just, I can't, I can't even. Yeah, you know, it's just. That's kind of what I was going this for. This is you. This is the cave, right? This is the cave you've right? been talking about the yeah. whole time. Yeah, 
a meat door, really? It's avant-garde. I mean, my my door is just... It's so obvious. <laughs> I went, I saw the semi on the way in, I said, and I said, oh my God, if he has a meat door, I'm just going home and slitting my wrists. You did say that. I did. <laughs> he heard me. And now I have to go home after this and kill myself. So thank you. For that, well, no, the the meat door is it's, something that no one would have thought of except for okay, me. Okay, but I, look, I don't, I wouldn't take his criticism too seriously because to me that sounds like just someone looking for a reason. I mean, oh, oh, you would say that, <laughs> yes, yes, it Mister, really stinks of that, yeah, Mister. I'm going to put a shag carpet in where my. You, where did you get a shag carpet? In my cave in the Himalayas. Yeah, sure. I found it on a houseboat. Mm. It was. Uh, it came down the river, got stuck on the log. I mean, what are you going to think of next nice. to go with that? A fucking disco ball? Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> anyway. So first thing we're going to need to do in here, uh-huh. um, buddy old pal, so we're going to have to get rid of the meat door because the meat door know. is kind of... He- it's too much. Why are you so focused on the meat door? I'm focused on the meat door because Lady Gaga already wore that as a dress. It's been done. It's over. We need something new. Have you seen this ferret? I mean, that, that particular ferret? Why? Is, is he a criminal? He's dead. He's not criming anywhere anymore. <laughs> oh. Are you a criminal after you've died if you've committed a crime without being absolved? Now he maybe and about 40 of his similarly dead friends <laughs> sewed together uh-huh. will make a really nice little little, you know, portal flap for portal the entrance flap. to your cave. And it's made of it's still meat underneath all the ferretness. So, you know, you can, you know, Feel good about that, I guess. Hmm. If that's important, to I don't know. You. But it, it has a face and it had a mother. I don't know. Just <laughs> sew the fucking ferrets together, man. Yeah, I guess I could like use you're it. Creating to a lot of work for him. I'm sure he's got a lot of scavenging to do. Oh, scavenging! It's really important. Just he eat can't. the door. But then I won't have a. Door. Oh, I see. I see how that works. Get it? You create, okay. Yeah. Right. The ferrets. Yeah. Place. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, form follows. <laughs> Function, gentlemen. I just, it'd be nice if you could get a little more natural light in here. I was thinking about that, but then I thought, what is better than natural sunlight is natural like. All right, ready, ready, ready? Turn off your flashlights. Okay. Algae. Whoa. (laughs) See how That is technically natural light. Right, right. And technically correct is the best kind of correct. See how it goes across the top there? Yeah, we Little see jiggy it. jaggies. We yeah. see it in the jiggy jaggies and the the color thing. Right? It does, yeah. It's kind of greenish. Uh-huh. I love it. Do you know how many caves have this shit in it, man? Mine but, doesn't. See? And not in this pattern. I wish it did. It's like the stars mm. except better. You can, can I take li- a sample of that and hope it'll spread? Oh, God, don't encourage this. See, people are already clamoring to have my designs. Oh. Okay, here's what you're going to do. You're going to scrape that shit off the wall. <laughs> Um, it's not really shit, though, is it? I had to fertilize it. Okay, and um, you've got the little the little cave ponds in here, yeah? They're in the back, yeah. In the I, back? I, I, would, okay. I was going to save those uh, for, I'll like, be Kimba. right back. You have cave ponds? Yeah, it drips from the... the oh. I, shit, is it tight Mine or Mine is dry as a bone, man. I'm telling you, this is the place to be. Okay, so and so we're just right going to carve out some sconces, and we're going to put some jars with these little fishy guys in them. Huh. I what guess is, that's... What does that do? It lights the fuck up. Oh, shit, when you shake it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty... Uh, I guess that's also a natural light, isn't it? It's kind fuck. of abusive in a way. Uh, well, art is pain, gentlemen. <laughs> Like your unwavering character. That was fantastic. <laughs> Never once was anything good enough. <laughs> Art is pain, gentlemen. Mm. 
There's your episode title. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I'm glad you guys caught on to the apoc- post-apocalyptic thing. I didn't <laughs> want to ham fist that too much, haha. But I I feel like it 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 came together. Uh, yeah. I, I thought it was a pretty good uh, setup there. Thank you. It's the improv game of the week. Well, every week on the podcast, I choose an improv game and we try to play it. And this week's improv game is called... What's it called? 911, What's Your Emergency? Ooh. We've never done this before. We have Haven't not. We? Is it, is, it is an original game to us. We're continuing the trend. Yes. yes. Get some. Get some new games every other week. Two or good. more players, nice. which <gasps> describes our setup right now, guys. Holy shit. One player well, we is aren't. a 911 operator. That's one of us. The others take turns calling in with various concerns, and the operator tries to find out if it's really an emergency or not. Almost all the calls will not actually be emergencies, but it is up to the operator to find out and let the caller know. There are many trajectories a call can take. It can be ambiguous or obvious, but the operator has to uncover the truth of the matter. Someone could call in complaining of the loss of a leg, and the operator ends up finding out it's a prosthesis, so it's not really a medical emergency. I mean, it's still kind of an emergency. Or someone could call in complaining that their roommate is eating their crackers. Turns out the roommate is actually passed out from choking on the crackers. Ah, okay. Oh, clever, clever. Sounds fun and guarantees the use of telephone voice. Yes. Oh, yes. So I'm a fan. Yes, I know you are. Who's going to be our operator, comma, 911? I am willing to take a stab at it. Yes. I was wondering if since oh. you developed the game, I was wondering if it might be better if you were one of the callers. Uh, why do you think that? Um, because that would, I think, do a better job of uh, presenting the premise. I feel like the 911 operator is more reactive mm. oh like going mm-hmm. tell me about your emergency and then playing mm. off of, okay right but they it's it's somewhat reactive but it also has to be probing because you're trying to right. get to the heart of the matter yeah so it is active uh-huh as well as reactive right yeah i don't know that makes a difference i i was just willing to give it a go but okay. yeah it doesn't matter to me doesn't matter to me 911, what's your emergency? Hi, um, my cat is out out in the stuck in the tree, and I need someone oh, okay. to help. Okay, so your cat is out in a tree? Yeah. Uh, is the cat in immediate danger? The, the cat is immediate danger, and he's stuck in the tree. He's it's an apple tree. tree. It's an apple tree. And he got up, but he how, jumped. How high is the tree? It's a, he, he went up really high in the, to the very top, and it's... Uh, hold on. Dad, how high is the tree? <laughs> It's five foot. It's five feet. Okay, okay. Uh, and sometimes he comes down, but this time he's not. Okay, son. Well, um, this is not going to be an emergency. Uh, five foot tree. You um, send just, a ladder truck. Just find, just find an adult. Uh, they can, they can get the cat out of the tree for you. Okay. But it's gonna. My dad's. Oh. <laughs> Dad, they say they won't come. 911, what's your emergency? So, uh, I'm trying to get this patch downloaded, and it looks like my internet is not only not in, but it's hella out. Okay, um, are you trying to reach Comcast customer service? No, you're the internet, right? Uh, no, this is 911, emergency services. Right, the internet. So, I'm trying to download this patch, and okay, it says my download is zero, and it should be like 80. Okay, sir. Um, so, this is not the internet. This mm. is 911. Do you have an emergency? So, I'm pretty sure the reason that my download isn't working has something to do with the cables. The cables. The cables. You know, that the internet comes through. Right. Yeah. Yeah, still. Yeah. Okay, I don't think this is an emergency, sir, but go on. Because the cables are, are a little bit on fire. Oh, they're on fire. A little uh, bit. What else is on fire, sir? I don't know. I just, I'm really kind of concerned about okay, the download. Okay, sir, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and dispatch a fire truck to your location, and they're going to I don't gonna want more fire, man. <laughs> yeah, and they're going to take care of that fire for you. All right. Okay. All right, cool. Thanks, bro. 911, what's your emergency? 
I I uh, I need to talk about something that's it's really it's it's disastrous. Okay, it's, everything hangs in the balance. Okay, so what is your emergency? Well, there's this this thing. This problem is it's it's risking the end of our nation as we know okay, it. Okay, what what and what is it, sir? Well, I've just been I've been looking into jet fuel, and I just don't think it burns hot enough. Okay, to uh, sir, I'm what gonna I've seen. I'm gonna transfer you over to Phil. No, nope. he deals with these calls. But this is the number so, they told uh, me to call. Yeah, so Phil is gonna tell this you about this is the number. Yeah, Phil is gonna tell you all about that. So uh, have fun. It just was not strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's just not <laughs> Oh Oh man. Someone else want to be in the hot seat? Sure. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Oh okay. Oh, that's fun. My way to be calm and collected, John. That was good. Mm. Yeah, you did a good job. Well, I do answer the phones at my work. Uh -huh. 911, what's your emergency? Um, yeah, I'm having a little bit of a trouble with an alligator at the moment. An alligator, sir? Uh, yeah, the damn thing, you know, I stuffed it and, uh, -huh. uh and I, I put it in my, uh, driveway, uh, uh -huh. to scare off the pigeons. Oh, that's probably And the illegal. damn things, the damn things have started roosting on it, and I'm pretty sure two of them are fucking right now. <laughs> two alligators? Uh, no, two of the pigeons. Okay, so you, you, you wanted to scare off the pigeons. I wanted to scare them off. I didn't want them to make more of themselves. That that makes perfect logical sense, sir. And so you stuffed an alligator. Yes, yes, I did. Is it in any particular pose? Um, it's in sort of a, I would call it a come hither sort of a pose. Uh -huh. uh, its mouth is open. It's uh -huh. got one of its little paws outstretched, lying on uh -huh. its side. <laughs> I was thinking that would be disturbing psychologically for the it is. For the pigeons. Oh, for the pigeons. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let you know that animal control is probably going to be your best bet for this. Uh, it's not actually a real life-threatening emergency unless the alligator has come back to life. In some uh, way, no, shape, it form. has not. Yeah, okay. Um, so um, maybe get yourself a shotgun with some rock salt. A 911, what's your emergency? Hi. Hello? Can, hello. Oh, can you hear me? I'm at 57 Crescent Street. 50, okay, sir? Sir? It's or ma'am? It's inside my house. The address is inside your house, okay? No, 57 Crescent Street. Right. There's someone inside the house. Okay, sir, um, do you need, well, wasn't the police right over? Are you in a safe location? Is there anything? I mean, do you have snacks? I'm in the hallway. You're in the, the hallway's not really that secure. I, I would have to advise you immediately I, to get somewhere, like, if I'm, you can get out of the house. You run screaming like a little girl. That often helps. I, no, I, I don't want to move because every time I look up, I can you, see this guy looking up at me in the mirror. There's a, there's a guy looking at you right now. No, because I'm down. If I get up, hold on a second, I'll get up. <laughs> Whoosh. Okay. Yeah, okay. No, he's, Did, he's still there. He looked up just the same time I looked up. He he saw you. Yeah. In what, the mirror. What does he look like? What? Well, it's really dark, so it's just like a silhouette. It's hard to see. But yeah, it looks like he's really ugly, probably. <laughs> and like mean. And okay. I think he has a tattoo like on his face. He has a, he has a face tattoo. I think he's got a face tattoo. Does that mean he's in prison? I, I uh, I'm not gonna say yes, but yeah, that means that. Um, have you <laughs> have you seen a tattoo like that before? Can you reckon? Can you point it out to me? No. No, you haven't seen one like that before. No, not not before. Not before tonight. Never. No, and I've never seen one. But I know that this person's just hanging out in here. That's and okay. That scares the bejesus out of me. The bejesus. That's and, important. And it seems like every time I move, he moves. Okay. What? So if I just stay still, can you come and get him, please? Yeah, we'll 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 send like a fully armored SWAT team. They'll they'll surround the house. Um, wh uh, what do you look like so they know not to kill you when they get there? I'm really handsome. Mm. And sir, I, sir, if you're not honest with me, I'm not going to be able to help you. Well, well, I've been working on it. <laughs> Okay, good. Uh, you got better. I got a little bit of work done, but uh -huh. I'm, I'm saving up for my next surgery, so it's kind of halfway there. Ooh, okay. So you're. So I've got a scar on my face. You're a little hideous. Yeah, and then there's this big scar on my face. Oh shit! I think he saw me. <laughs> Did he hit a spring of some sort? Oh, that was just the hot water heater. It's old. Oh, that makes sense. They make those kind of noises. Yeah, they do <laughs> for sure. This is an old creepy house, and this is not being made any easier by this person who's in my house who shouldn't be in my house because I'm the only one. Okay, so, uh, yeah. 
Oh, I'll send the SWAT team over and they'll kill everyone in the house except for you. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome. Can I stay on the line? No, 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 no. Oh, that was weird. 911, what's your emergency? Oh, uh, hi there. Uh, is this uh, operator 1513? We, we don't have numbers. Uh, this is This is Kyle. Oh, uh, hi, Kyle. Yeah, I was on the phone with you earlier about an alligator problem. Yeah, uh, yeah. So uh, did it did it come back to life? Uh, no, it didn't. But, you know, the funny thing is I fished that gator uh-huh. out of uh, a swamp. I think it might have already been a little bit dead. Uh-huh. No, it's the alligator um, guy. It's fine. And um, you see, the swamp, the funny thing is the swamp... Uh-huh. Um, it mm. is fed partially by the river and then partially by the, uh, the little, the little nuke reactor place. Oh, a uh, little uh, stackies. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That place. And, um, so the, uh-huh. uh, the pigeons, they've started to glow an interesting sort of a color. Okay. That's, and, mm. um, I just wanted to check and see if, mm. um, if you could just let animal control know that, if they see the glowing pigeons, uh-huh. those ones are mine, and you, I don't really... They're yours. Yeah, they're going to be. I thought, you, I thought you wanted to get rid of the pigeons. Oh, I did. That was before uh, they started um, glowing like that, and I just think uh-huh. they'll be good party favors, you know, that kind of a thing. Um, I, I do have to remind you it's against the law to harass wildlife, sir. All right. Well, uh, that's, that's wonderful of you to uh, let me know that, but uh, if you could just pass that along. <laughs> To uh, to your friends at Animal Control, I know you all hang out together, the, the emergency services, and um, yeah, I definitely won't tell the SWAT guys either. So you have some fun with that. Fantastic! Thank you so much. No, thank you. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hi. Um, this is awkward. Oh, uh, is there an emergency? Like, do you, is there life threatening? Can we? Can we yeah, get some help no, you? No, it is. It is. Uh-huh. Uh, he, the thing is. Um, I'm in the next county over. I'm also a 911 dispatch uh, oh. operator. Okay. How did you? Okay. And honestly, yeah. If I get one more call from this goddamn crocodile guy, I'm oh gonna kill my myself. Oh God! No, right? I'm did, seriously like like. Has he told you about the glowing pigeons? Yeah. Oh Jesus! Like, what the hell? I. I you should have heard him last year when he tried to make his own turducken. Last year, he he does this thing frequently. He's oh he no he's from here. He, the only reason he's calling you now is because we kept telling him to stop calling here. He's just. He, I thought that area code looked weird. I swear to God, I, I'm going to cut myself. That's really weird. And I don't. I just wanted someone to know that. Yeah, no, that's great. Thanks very much. Um, I guess. Wow. So we should block him too. Is what you're saying? I mean. <laughs> Yeah, you could make this about you. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, thanks very much. I appreciate it, bro. That's uh, that's good news. I'll go talk to my boss about it. Uh, cool. Thank you. Oh, 911, what's your emergency? Kyle, hello again. Oh, my God. So it's the damnedest thing. You know how you were joking around about the alligator coming back to life? Uh, No. Yes. Well, what? it came back to life. Jesus. And it started, it started attacking the household. Um, so if you could just... Uh, run someone over here um i've barricaded myself in the bathroom um and so if you could just uh, have someone shoot the alligator that would be wonderful um because i'd rather not die you're in Um, you're in the bathroom i am in the bathroom uh the alligator is chewing Mm. on the door right now so i'm gonna need you to lean up against the door He's in the bathroom, you guys. Just lean up against that door with lean all your weight. Put as much body surface area as you can against Alrighty. it. All righty. Yeah, just, just go wild, good. you guys. Yes, because I, uh, you know, if I were to be eaten by this alligator, I uh, would miss our little talks, Kyle. As, yes, as would, yeah, I understand that, sir. So, yeah, just hold tight. Spread up against that door. Yeah, use the armor penetrating rounds. Those would be good. Yeah, uh, so uh, hang tight. Sir, and emergency personnel will probably be there soon. Fantastic. Pete, did you hear that? Take They're the going GoPro. to shoot you. Take the GoPro. Bad crocodile, bad alligator. I don't even know oh, what you are. That's fantastic. Thank you very, very much, sir. Thank you. Good night. Hey, I like that game. That's a fun game. That's a it fun is. game. I like it. Who, who came up with that game? Dave. I oh. did. Mm-hmm. 
I thought of the idea when we very first started doing this podcast four years ago. What? Seriously? And then it was only recently that I found a way to make it actually good. Mm. Nicely done, sir. Yeah. So here we are. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking on the phone. Oh, yeah. I got to turn that off. Let's move it right along. Do we have to? Yes. Welcome to Cody's Words of Wisdom. Soak up the knowledge. There's some kind of legend or prophecy. I can't remember which one because the tattoos on my ass have faded enough that I can't read them in the mirror. But my psychiatrist tells me that all the medications I've been flushing down the toilet have been making the fish sterile. So don't go fishing anytime soon if you're going to want to get that boat have any little baby boats because those propellers, they get a little finicky. And if you touch them too much, they get sensitive and they run away screaming, I don't want to put any jelly on my torso. And if you had that happen to you, you know that you can't touch any of them while they're still red so give it a few minutes try to lay in it sunbathe while the girls are still doing their hula dance because they haven't afforded me any patience and i've told them a thousand times this isn't my house i don't know how brett Favre's legs got in the oven but you know what if that's what the moon's face is gonna do then mercury's retrograde is gonna just be the tastiest barbecue sauce that you've ever smelled there you go there you go. That was weird. <laughs> that is that is the offering that Cody has. Mm. That was the that was one of the weirdest things I've ever done. Among them, yeah. Among that was weird. Wow. Well, thank you for listening. Yeah, and thank you. If you enjoyed the show, please leave us a review on iTunes. Yes, please does. That. Oh, it would be awesome. We live for it. Yeah, it's so great. We love hearing from you guys. We love <laughs> we love validation. Please, <laughs> but it's, it's the it. most basic of all human needs. No, it's not. It's the highest. I think, I think according to Maslow, there was one Maslow guy that who's probably different from your Maslow because my Maslow guy said that <sighs> validation was the most basic. No, that's wrong. You, you're probably looking at the pyramid. It's upside on the down. point of the pyramid. Yeah, that's which the, you hold it to the highest, and so that affords more important. That doesn't. That's not quite how my guy. Works. My guy was B. F. Skinner. He just shocked people. He, he's the guy that made the Skinner box. No, that was a serial killer. Huh. All right, then. So next week, uh, we're going to be uh, going through your questions oh, and your yeah. scene suggestions. Oh, it's going to be great. Right. It's going to be fucking awesome. If you would Send them in, please. like to submit those, please do so. Wastingallthetime.com slash contact. Slash contact. And slash it. Until then. Who are you? My name is Dave. I'm John. I'm Cody. And I think you will find, if you check, we wasted all of your time. Darn fucking tootin'. Thanks ever so much. Yay. Good night, folks. If you enjoyed the show, then leave us a rating and review on iTunes, Stitcher, or anywhere that lets you put in a review. You can call or text the show at area code 916-235-3337. If you'd like to interact with us in any other way, then www.wastingallthetime.com would be a great place to start. There you can submit listener-suggested scenes and questiones, you can buy your own copy of the Fruit Words card game, you can read blog posts from Ted and the Guys, and a whole lot more. So check it out at wastingallthetime.com. I will be monitoring the fullness of your glass from the closed circuit television while the um, while the, the medical staff um, mm. attempts to um, reconnect this particular artery for me. This is being filmed? Uh, yes, and instantly destroyed. <laughs> I do hope so. Yes. It cannot be seen here. Mm-hmm. Except for when I have personal need of the footage. Now, the dodo dust. Yes. Is it yes. to be yes. sniffed? <sighs> I had such high expectations for you.
The powdered dodo is meant as an aperitif to the oh. main course. Oh, very good. Yes, of course it's very good. Very good. Yes, yes. So, little Lord Fontleraf, would you like an aperitif? <laughs> oh, what's wrong, little Lord Fontleraf? Mm. <laughs> Don't you like your bubbly? <laughs> Goodness. Well, Something Garrett. is very wrong. Yes. Oh. No canine should talk to its owner that way. Ah, uh, you should discipline it immediately. Oh. I have a cat of nine tails if you would oh. like to take it to the pup. Yes, I think I'd rather should. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. I did not expect that. Shit. <laughs> All right. Uh, who's going to be our... Who's fuck, 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 Dave? This is hey, future Dave. I'm sorry. I'm on probe. Hey, there we go. Hey, day, 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 what do you think the rights to that cost? Oh, more than I can afford. Mm.